It was an overwhelming vote in favor of downgrading South Africa's official representation in Tel Aviv. Relations with Israel have been tense for some time now. In 2017, the governing African National Congress downgraded its ties with Israel in response to what it said was ongoing human rights abuses against Palestinians. South Africa has not had an ambassador in Tel Aviv since 2019. Advocacy group Africa for Palestine says Parliament's support of the downgrade is a historic move. We had had many invoices to Palestine and Israel in efforts for peace. It has not been any fruit. So this is a message to the world and to Israel that we, we can no longer participate in this sham process of peace where Israel continues illegal, building illegal settlements, stealing more Palestinians' land, killing Palestinians, practicing apartheid. We cannot be party to that anymore. While the vote was introduced by the National Freedom Party, it was supported by more than two-thirds of members of parliament. Those opposing it included the main opposition party, the Democratic Alliance, and the African Christian Democratic Party. South Africa's Jewish Board of Deputies says the vote undermines and harms South Africa's own interests. What impact will this have on the trade that is happening between South Africa and Israel? There's six billion rand worth of trade that happens between South Africa and Israel every year. Is this going to curtail that trade? What is, the, what is it going to mean for the people who have jobs as a result of that trade between Israel and South Africa? Are those people going to lose their jobs? In 2019, the United States, under then-President Donald Trump, moved its embassy to West Jerusalem. The opening of that embassy coincided with protests on the Gaza border with more than 57 Palestinians killed. Some reports say Israeli forces have killed at least 69 Palestinians this year. According to the United Nations, last year was the deadliest year for Palestinians in the occupied West Bank since 2005. While some may describe the latest move by South Africa's parliament as rubber stamping existing policies, parties who voted in favor of the diplomatic downgrade say it's the start of the process of isolating what they call apartheid Israel. Hamida Miller, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.